Hey everybody, this is MG Vids with uh, First right, Hands On here roll. with Dead Trigger 2. Basically an action-packed uh, zombie killer. Um, this truly is a hands-on, as it's the first time I'm playing this game. But, uh, what it does look like is that not only do you kill a lot of zombies, and, you know, hey, that's always fun, right. but also that there is, at least it's been advertised, that there are ways to uh, earn... Okay prizes that you can uh, win through the game. So I don't know what I don't know yet what those prizes are. Uh, but it just seemed like it was something interesting. Take this guy some water back. What we need to do is just get through this so we can get a weapon and start laying people out. Crashing helicopter. His head if he's infected. And we just need to walk up to him and just beat the hell out of him. Oh, that was pretty good. And that is a pretty big zombie. Alright, so so far so good. The cinematics look pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, so apparently you can you can earn rewards and it's through either single player or you can also play online. So offline and online gameplay. Uh, we can pair up uh, what it sounds like. So... Okay, Titan apparently is running behind me. Now, hopefully... You know, that's the only thing I think with a lot of these, some of these shooters and stuff, like, I enjoy the, uh, the initial... I don't know, not prologue, but, you know, those first couple of levels, their walkthrough, train you, you know, explain the game to you, making sure you have some hands-on so you understand what you're doing to play through. Um, but what you hope is that they don't take too long, kind of excelling, accelerating you through the game progress that way you get, you know, addicted to playing it. Um, oh, maybe this place. Like, instead of having a, a wrench, it'd be better if I had, you know, a shotgun and was blowing people apart, so... Um, but yeah, I mean, controls the right thumb is to go ahead and just look around. There we go. Now we're talking here. And... <laughs> I'm shooting all these people in the back that are trying to get out. Get a bonus for a headshot. Glad to see you here. Great. Well, that's pretty cool. I've been stuck here for ages. All right, let's roll. Reminds me a little bit of Follow if you ever played Isolani. No you've got okay. Now you have buttons in that game, so you will look around, but then you also uh, you basically just need to put the crosshairs on the enemy to shoot, and then you reload. So it reminds me of you know the gameplay style reminds me of that. Um, but I need to just start going for headshots here to get some, rack up the coins. Or the dollar bills, I guess. It's closed. Hold on. No problem. Don't worry, lady, I got your back. You're ready for some trouble. Okay, so apparently zombies are coming around from the back side. Come on. We need to get some splatter effect going. That's the one thing that, you know, some of these some of these first-person shooters uh, will have at times is the splatter effect where right, you can see all the damage. Uh, and that gets pretty cool. And even Isolani has got that with uh, the robots that you're destroying, you know. And we did a lot of gameplay on Isolani oh, that was close. Uh, on the channel not too long ago. But I just wanted to, wanted to try a different approach to playing through some games. Um, you know, going through it the first time without even having done anything and kind of giving you my impression. So we'll see if this format is I don't know, appealing to anybody. If not, we'll go, you know, continue doing things the way we have been, taking some of the more popular stuff. I'll put up gameplay on it, starting episode series on it. If not, right, you know, we'll go. still keep doing the first look preview kind of deal, um, just to kind of get games out there so folks know about them. There's a lot of neat ones that, you know, you wouldn't find out about unless a buddy told you or, you know, or you haven't seen it, you know, in a commercial or something. Okay, like, a pistol is not going to kill that guy. Pistol is not gonna kill that kid. Oh, she wants me to run, run around the edge. I got it. Did he just hit me in the head? 
Alright, luckily we got our 9 mil. I want to say, why, why can't I shoot that? Like, there we go. Four ammo for that little exploding thing. Hmm, okay. Go for, keep going for some headshots here, trying to get the extra cash. Right in the face, man. That's not bad. Again. Still kind of feeling like we need to uh, all right, replenish, even though I was low on ammo. <laughs> How's that for a tutorial? Need just like a shotgun or something. There was a headshot. Get some rounds. Keep canking through. It does. I. I think it is good. At least it gives you a direction on where you're supposed to go, rather than Come on. Uh, potentially getting lost for the way around. All right. Oh, he's already dead. But he's got a key. Perfect. Continuing the sprint. I'm gonna need like a Gatling gun or something to deal with that gigantic zombie. So so far, uh, gameplay is actually pretty smooth and easy to do. Um, sometimes what I found is when you play some of the games like this, oh great. You know, if I try to cast or record like a first-person shooter, you'll get a lot of lag uh, in between the trying to stream to the computer and record because there's just so much going on with gunfire, the action, that all of a sudden you're firing. <laughs> you can see your person firing, but the sound, you know, is essentially like 30 seconds behind. So you just you start getting some serious lag. This doesn't seem to have that, although now that I have a better Wi-Fi booster, that could have solved the problem. And so it might be that as well. But again, if you didn't know, like this is Dead Trigger 2. Um, I never played the original Dead Trigger. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, you know, you think games where you kill zombies, they've got to be fun. I don't really care about the hideout, man. Let's go out there and do a little more, more carnage here. All right. Produce painkiller. That's what I'm talking about. So just use meds to avoid feeling the pain. Got it. Two, one, done. All right, now let's hop into the world. See if maybe it gives a glimpse of what the world map looks like. Oh, story mission, warfare, arena, or generic. So arena would be cool because I wonder if that's going to be, you know, similar to some of these uh, global PVPs, whether it's individual or it's going to be uh, team, team based. say, man, for a first-person shooter, this has got some pretty good cinematography. Better than uh, Isolani was. So here's the USA campaign that we're in. I can go back to my hideout. I can go to Tools of the Trade. I've got plenty of challenges to rack up with. The USA campaign, Tools of the Trade tutorial. All right, let's rack, let's run through one more mission here uh, on normal and see what we can get done. And from the looks of it, with NPCs, so we should continue to pair up with characters, which is good. But we need something better. Our goal right now, at this level, is to get something better than a pistol. We need a shotgun, machine gun. What do a we sword. have here? Shit. Enter the world of pain. Something that's basically we can label a death dealer. Oh wait, there's that golden pig that we're talking about. So great, racking up some cash. Burn. 
baby. <laughs> That's right, burn. Reload on the rounds. I can't go that way. So. Headshot. Ah, oh, man. No bonus headshot there. Keep a watch on the radar for where the zombies are coming from. <laughs> right in the face, man. What do we have here? There's my buddy. Who I'm supposed to be chasing, apparently. We'll get the reboot on rounds. Might come in handy. Gate. They're trying to surround me. That ain't gonna happen. As we are not nice. gonna get surrounded and die here, that's for sure. Alright, making the sprint after Hank. Cooperation. Ooh, I guess he's dead. Gross. So 99 meters. It's good. It gives me distance too, along with direction. Um, we definitely need something better than this stupid little pistol, though. Luckily, zombies don't run. They always have a limp, right? Oh, that guy Titan looked like he got Titan speed to him. It'd be pretty sweet too if they let you. Uh, you know, like when you play Halo, you can still pistol whip. Right, so you run out of rounds, and you don't necessarily have to stop and back off to reload. You can just go up and club a guy and keep yeah. going. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Cars helping me out. Ah, there you are. Well, how about that? So, you know, I'll give it a stop there. This is just, you know, really first hands-on with Dead Trigger 2. It's out now free for download. It is a first-person shooter. Um, it looks like with a lot more features, and so maybe going deeper into this one if there's a lot of interest, but definitely wanted to give folks just a first glimpse at a new first-person shooter that's out there, or I guess they call it a third-person shooter, however you want to look at it. Um, that's free to download, and it's all about killing zombies, so you know, you really can't beat that. <laughs> and hey, now we just picked up an MP5, so it's getting better. Uh, but yeah, again, this is MG Vids with some gameplay and a first look on Dead Trigger 2, and encourage you if you haven't already subscribe to the channel, give some feedback, and then, you know, let us know, um, do you kind of like this first hands-on approach where we haven't played the game before, or would you rather I, I play it out some and kind of give you my thoughts? just want to try a different format, but we'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks.